you all very, very much. Yeah. Uh, and this, this, this feels awesome. Does it look awesome? Yeah! Oh my god! Adam yeah. looks awesome. And give it up for all the poets who fucking went up so far. They're amazing. It's called Before We Leave. Who wrote a catchphrase? <laughs> These days it's hard to tell. But before I left the club on a jukebox, I play Angel I Hollow and Highway, Highway to Hell. If I should die today, hope I've done all the laughing I can let out of this body. Hope it was heard and appreciated and contagious. I hope a great many people remember the fact that I was here. Not remembered like Shakespeare or Mussolini, but remembered along the lines of a much simpler person like Gandhi. <laughs> Albert Gandhi. <laughs> who lived down the street from me and loved women and food as if they were oxygen and humor. Because there is no Albert Gandhi that I know of. And that's funny to us. If I should die today, please make sure that the date of my death spans three or four days. I want people to think of it as a big event they may have missed out on. Like the Palooza. Yeah, or McGillith Fair. <laughs> if I should die today, I know, I hope the world will be able to go on without me, even though I know it will be really, really hard. It will be hard. And whatever you do, please do not auction off my genitalia. If I should die today, make note that I'm not ready for it. But I've accomplished centuries in my decades, and for that, I am grateful. So if you didn't hear this, you're invited to my funeral. Especially if you promise to just shut the fuck up every once in a while and listen. To keep fighting the good fight. To always do what's right. And before you go, please, tell the sun I said hello, and kiss the moon goodnight. Uh, who wrote the catchphrase? Days is hard to tell. But before I let the club on a jukebox, I play. Ain't that a holler? Ain't that a holler? Ain't that a holler? Ain't that a holler? If I should die today, tell the world the things I could never say. As if by saying them now, I somehow said them time and time again. As if yesterday was when I could say something to today. That way the world could hear me as loud and as clear as the year the world discovered. I was so far before my time that my time left me behind to remind time that I'm here today to say that I made this time mine. These words are a sign that I was here. And that fear, while present, never steered the direction that I went. I lent a shoulder and a hand when the demand was great. And what is even greater, I gave away both hands and shoulders in the shape of a hug. I was a boulder for a bug to stand on. I landed on bullies when their approach was hands-on. I went mano a mano, which I believe in Spanish means donkey warrior. <laughs> Let's face it, I'm badass. I've stood on greener grass, but I've stood there alone. And I know there's a reason our hearts are more like a muscle and less like a bone. I've known so many people who've grown up flexing in front of the mirrors and falling for their own reflection would be adequate. And that's bullshit. Because we only get from now until the time we go. And they've only got time to love themselves. No one's going to be around to hear the sound of their heartbeat echo. So don't expect an apology when I tell you I'm only held together by a heart that pumps blue. It's the strongest muscle in my body. And I'm flexing mine for you. Who wrote a catchphrase? These days it's hard to tell. But before I let the club on the jukebox, I play. Ain't that a holler? Highway, highway to hell. Hey, 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 hey. If I die today. Bury me on a highway, 15. In between the many seasons church and Rob's garage, it's hard to say if the sun will flash through the clouds like a cop badge to warm the deathly cold, which is the weather to bury the dead. Sing this land is your land, this land is my land, but rewrite the verses to say what needs to be said. And if you can't make it to my final highway rest stop, 
Just stick a harmonica out the window of a vehicle moving at high speed. This ghost blown reed is how you hear the wind. Its sweaty palm answers are subtle. Just like the sadness and disappointment in the waitress and patron's eyes who came that night to be inspired. If I stand unperspired, it means they leave empty handed. To be candid, this is an apology in the form of an unsung telegram. I'm sorry some moms that watch too much TV and I let the screen door slam. But one day, this world will turn all fast food chains into secondhand bookstores. And finally, we'll be well read. But in the valley of dead, before death, you can't hold your breath. But I'm gonna be, but I'm gonna be but a literary obscene green lizard with my tail curled up like a garden hose. Every time Farnsworth or Chelsea sings, it's a fucking freight train whistle that blows. We're together gonna make a mad dash and a mad splash. And at gray dawn, I grab a crayon and I draw a bath and I smear it with beads of sweat behind a cigarette in the garden of good and evil. This is hobo erotic hip hop. Let our bodies of work be more diverse than the well, vinyl at your new and used record shop. Into the bar room floats a mischievous breeze. And I'm flipping through a Bukowski book, leaning against an old jukebox. It reads, like the fox, I've run with the hunted. And though I'm not always the happiest man in the world, I'm surely the luckiest man alive in this cherry blossom graveyard called Commercial Drive. On my headstone put, he was an archeologist who followed a northern star while it snowed. If I die today, quit your fucking day job and hit the road. Yeah. 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 Yeah.